Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be testing the Runcam Eagle 2 Pro's latency along with the DVR that it comes with. So this is a current bundle that's provided on Banggood and um, I really have not gotten to test them out just yet. I actually did test this one for exactly 10 seconds in the field until I crashed my... Zod Dart XL, which will be in a later video, which we'll see what's up with that. But currently what I can tell is the video quality looks great. And I've seen online, it has a lot of, you know, this is the reason why I actually picked it up because I saw the video quality was great online. And that's why I picked one up. However, I just decided to do the latency testing. Now we're gonna check this bundle. We're gonna see if the DVR actually affects its latency and what kind of latency we can expect from the Runcam Eagle 2 Pro since it has really good video footage from what I've seen again. And it's something that I really like, but I never really got to try it and I'll be trying it very soon. Now another awesome little feature this thing has is a microphone. So that's really cool. You do have your uh, battery voltage reading. As you can tell right there, we have five to 36 volts ground, video, audio, VBAT. And uh, later on, once I take this out flying, I'll get into the other specs as well. Or you can check the links down below. They'll give you all the specs you need. But right now we're just gonna do the latency testing and seeing if the DVR comes in the bundle will actually affect your latency. Now what's really cool about the DVR was the fact that they provide these two wires for you uh, which is a huge plus because now you don't really have to solder anything. You can take your already current uh, you know wire that's going to be connecting to your camera for example on my testing rig if we bring it here um i was worried i'm gonna have to you know re-solder things in different places so here's my camera wire right here and it's just a basic three pin camera wire that connects to every single camera in the market currently and uh if we take a look at the dvr here they provide you with that female type of uh, connector so all i have to do and this goes to your quadcopters as well especially if you're using the three uh pin one there we go. Then the other side is just uh, exactly that same one. So I could just bring in my camera and connect it. And all you have to do is find a place for that, for that DVR. I don't know how good that DVR is, but I will be testing it actually. So we'll see how well that does. But right now I just want to see if it affects latency and the video output while it's recording and while it's not recording. What I can tell you is both of them while recording and while it's not recording, um, it's exactly the same latency and we'll see that in a bit once we test it. So let me set everything up. Currently we're going to test the camera by itself and then uh, we'll bring in the DVR and test that right after. So I'm going to go ahead and start preparing everything and uh, I'll be right back. All right guys, so right now we're testing the Foxy Runcam Eagle 2 Pro and uh, without the DVR. So let's get started here. We're going to take our first sample. And the top here is the video feed and on the bottom is when the LED turns on. So as you can tell right there in the middle where it went up, that means the LED just turned on. And if we zoom in, we can actually see the difference where the LED was off on the video feed and we see that it noticed it right about here, I think. Let me just take a closer look. Yep, right there where that red line is. Hopefully you can see what I'm seeing. So let's get our first measurement in here. Okay, we're just gonna align this and there we go. And what we wanna do is we wanna take a look at this little uh, line right there, which is saying 15.2 milliseconds currently. So I'm just going to move this up a little also. So our first latency with the LED turning on is 15.2 milliseconds on this camera. And again, we're also going to test when the LED turns off. Usually cameras get higher latency when the LED powers off. So let's take another sample here. Okay. And we're going to zoom in. And we're going to see if it's as consistent as the other cameras that I have been testing here. And I do apologize for having to move the oscilloscope because I can't see the number from where I'm sitting. So that is 15.8 milliseconds. So it's, it's in the 15 millisecond range of latency. And it is pretty consistent, which is really nice. So it's pretty predictable, basically. Okay, so this result was 15.6 milliseconds. So it is pretty consistent for... Uh, for a camera, which is really nice to have a good quality camera. Anything below 20 milliseconds is the golden zone, but anything below five millisecond is the insane zone, basically. When you get over 35 milliseconds, that's when you start noticing uh, some of the issues here. And you know what, we can zoom in a little bit closer so we can get this just perfect. 15.3 milliseconds here. And uh, let's see this one now. So it is just pretty consistent. It's in the 15 millisecond range. And, oops, wrong one. There we go, right there. 15.4 milliseconds on that one right there. And uh, let's go ahead and switch over to the LED turning off. Now the latency does increase on every single camera I've tested. So let's do that. Let me just prepare the trigger level. Okay. And let's take our first sample. All right. So as you can tell, the LED was on and this is where it turned off. So we're gonna see where it actually registered here. So I'm zooming in and I would say 
right about here 21.7 milliseconds it's still below the 25 milliseconds which is great which is basically just about unnoticeable mostly um so in that in that in that perspective this camera is doing very well like i mentioned once you get above the 35 millisecond that's when it just really starts uh ruining your flight so yeah the it's around 21.5 milliseconds so this is kind of uh, kind of like its latency is basically like the Foxy XAT600, if I remember correctly, and also the Runcam Swift V1s. I don't think I've ever tested the V2s, but we'll we'll double check that later. So on LED turning off, it's around the 21 millisecond range. So that was the 21.5 millisecond result, and let's see this one here, and 21.8. It's very consistent. So we can say 15 milliseconds LED turning on, and around 21 milliseconds when the LED is turning off. So you can get you know a number in between there. Uh, to get an idea of how your camera is performing, or this camera is performing, to be exact. Uh, this one's around, yeah, it's 21.3. I could keep doing this all day. We're all, always going to get in the 21 uh, millisecond range. So it's really nice that it's consistent, and it's not fluctuating like other cameras. I really like seeing it. It's not fluctuating much, just a couple points of a millisecond. So that, that's really nice to see here. And this is a really good camera. However, obviously there is faster, but this is the kind of camera you want to be flying with. Um, anything above, like I mentioned, the 35 millisecond range, it gets really terrible. Below the 25 millisecond is golden. Below 5 millisecond is just insane. So this is still a very good camera here. And uh, yeah, overall it's a really good camera. So now I'm going to connect the DVR. And what we're going to do is we're going to watch the video feed coming before the DVR and from after the DVR. And then we can subtract the two signals, and if we get a flat line, then basically there's no latency at all whatsoever. Not even in the nanoseconds. So let me prepare that, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so let's take a look at this and try to understand this. Now, one of these signals is coming out of the camera, and then the other signal is coming out of the DVR. Now, this one, the top one, is coming out of the DVR, and the bottom one's coming out of the camera. So let's see, can we kind of notice any difference? It looks spot on. Now, it's going to be very difficult to eyeball this perfectly. So there's these little functions that are available in oscilloscopes, and they're like math functions. So we're going to do a subtraction here, the operator as a subtraction. Uh, what that will do is it'll subtract this voltage from this voltage, and obviously if you get a flat line, then it's perfect. And as you can tell, we have a flat line. And we could take more samples if we wanted to. We can even have it, I think, set to roll. Oh, we can't use it in the roll function here. Hold on. All right, so here we go. It took me a while to get this. So right now we have, uh, I believe, the LED turned off here. As you can tell, it was on, and then it turned off. So, and again, the top one is coming straight out of the DVR, and I believe the bottom one is coming straight out of the uh, camera here. So now what we want to do is we want to bring in our function, or we can just zoom in and take a look if you guys would like that. So some people might want to see that also. So there you go, you can tell that it's almost just exactly identical, and we're just gonna add the function here. We're just gonna subtract it, and it's that line right there. And if we remove move its position slightly, there we go. So it's this white line, and as you can tell, it's 100% flat here. Uh, we're not having any hiccups anywhere right and left. There is, I don't see any latency. There's basically no latency. So it, with recording and without recording on this DVR, it just has no latency. So yeah. If you're going to use it, you're not going to be sacrificing anything um, at all from testing this. So overall, it's a really good, nice little package. So the latency was around 15 milliseconds on the camera with the LED turning on. The maximum when it was off was around 21.5 milliseconds, so we can say 22 milliseconds, which is still in the, all, in the, in the great zone. Uh, these are the kind of latency you won't really notice. But again, like I mentioned, anything above 35 milliseconds, even 30 milliseconds, and somewhat, yeah, 30 milliseconds is where it kind of gets kind of weird. Uh, and almost unflyable. Unflyable is basically over 35 milliseconds. In my opinion, that's for me. And, well, that's it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if this was useful to you and, you, and helped you avoid or purchase a product, please consider using the links down below. This greatly support the channel. You don't even have to purchase the same thing. And, or, you can join my Patreon. That would be super great. And, well, that's it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.